Welcome to the channel. Today I got Vauxhall Astra 2012 model. Again, another ABS problem. I'm going to diagnostic and show you what we have to do for this sensor problem. If you still not subscribe our channel, please do it now and press bell icon. Then you can get our new videos. If you have any question, comments, please mention below. Come back to you as soon as possible. Let's go inside the car and we'll see what happened with the computer. I'm going to start the car. Britain's conversation with Nick Ferrari at breakfast. Switch off radio. Nine on Monday, the 5th of December, coming up in this. Make sure all electrical switch it off. Customer says uh, ABS light on. However, when I start the car, I can't see any ABS warning sign. However, I'm going to plug in computer and have a look what's going on there. OBD connector underneath here right green light on it's mean it's connected to the onboard computer go with the scanner Opal Vauxhall Precious Automatic ID Precious 2012 Opal Vauxhall Astra J Press OK I'm going to take a anti lock brakes code Not fitted Codes It's a C0035 left front wheel speed sensor circuit low voltage stroke open history. I feel something happened to the sensor or bearing front left wheel. Before I go to check visually, I'm going to the data exit from this menu data abs data i'm going to check left front wheel speed sensor first i'm going to Reverse the car. Take it a bit forward. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Uh, all signal getting as usual but I'm going to open the wheel and have a look what's going on for front left wheel stay with me take a good idea thank you basically I'll check the ABS sensor wire I can't find any damage or anything at the sensor however the this bearing build ABS ring to the bearing basically I can't check from visually because of that as a first step I'm going to change this ABS sensor and have a look what's going on if it need to go further then I'm going to change hub it's coming complete hub 
with the inbuilt sensor because of that I leave it the hub as it is and I'm going to change the sensor this is the new sensor I'm going to start from here and go all the way to inside this panel first we need to remove this holding screw Then after that, I'm going to apply WD-40 here and leave it half an hour because all mud rust going inside and this sensor very stiff and the stuck inside. Because of that, I'm going to apply WD-40 and leave it as it is, half an hour, 45 minutes. I already left it half an hour to absorb WD-40. Now I'm going to use it like this flyer and hold it from the edge and gently going to twist little bit. I see it's turning, spinning. Right, now you can see it came out nicely. Then I'm going to install new sensor this is the new sensor before i install i'm going to apply little bit copper grease surround this area not here only connecting area When you're going to remove next time, this very helpful for the next time. Make sure press all the way in. After that, you can see this one also a little bit rust. Because of that, I'm going to apply a little bit copper grease for this screw also where. Just do the hand tight. <coughs> Don't go into over tight. Then after that, I need to follow the old sensor. I'm going to remove these two clips to access to the sensor connector. Now you can see as it is, this is the connector. I have a clear access to there. I'm going to remove this connector from here. Right, and there is another clip here. I'm going to remove that one. 
there is a tab you need to press this tab and pull this section then you can disconnect from the connector right it's disconnect from the connector right it's out after that there is a, another connector here right the connector in here inside and another one underneath the ball joint right now all sensor out we have to follow the same routing first connector underneath here Then the second one in here. Right. Third one inside lower arm. Right. After that, I'm going to connect the sensor right it's in to take out all sensor bracket after that this connector need to go through this hole right it's all in then i'm going to All done. I'm going to install tire and erase the code. I'm going to take a road test. change the sensor then I'm going to delete the message I'm 
going to delete this code. Clear the code, continue, and check any code left there at the moment. You can see as it is, no present codes. However, I'm going to take a five, 10 minute road test and I'm going to check any code came again. If it yes, I'll show you. However, I'm going to stop as it is and I'm going to take to the road test now. I'm doing road test. I drove nearly 10 minutes, nothing coming up, no warning for the ABS or other warnings. However, I'm going to check with the computer again. Select scanner. Opal or Vauxhall. Automatic ID, okay going to the anti-lock brake not fitted codes you can see as it is no code present however I am satisfied with the job I'm going to hand over the car as it is to the customer if I get anything from customer next three four days time I will upload another video for the what's going on there if it not that's mean i done success job thanks for watching i'm charlie from sanu motors if you have any question comments please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to subscribe us and press bell icon then you can get our new videos thanks again see you with another video